friends. Namaste. Welcome to Yoga Bliss with Shelly. And I am Shelly. Welcome to my creative space, my favorite room in my house. Today I am here because if you've been tuning in to seven practices to a better you, you will know why. I am reaching out and just asking to see how you're doing. How are you feeling in yourself and your practice? Are you feeling a little bit more fluid with your breath? Are you feeling, what are you feeling? I just want you to open up to all of the different things we've been doing. So far we dove into trust yoga, which is has to do with that root chakra, that red energy around us. That practice was created to help you just open up and allow yourself to trust and know that it's safe to be here. And the second practice was create yoga, which was all about getting creative in our doing and being and our moving. That is that orange space, that orange energy. And then the most recent was inner knowingness and wisdom yoga to let you know that you are indeed smart enough. You are strong enough. You already have all of that wisdom inside of you, no matter what our self-limiting beliefs are. I am here because ba -ba -da -ba, I want to know what do you want next? What do you need more in your life? Are you craving for more of these practices that are more of like a challenge with this seven practices or are you more craving individual practices? Would you like a more sturdy morning habit, afternoon habit? I'm reaching out because I want your feedback. I want some I want to know how you're doing. I want to get in into the nitty gritty. I'm so grateful and so blessed to be sharing here with you on Yoga Bliss with Shelly. And no matter how many people watch or how few people watch, I am so grateful to have touched a part of you that hopefully will help awaken a piece of you that will help you know that you can choose to be a better person here within your breath, within your movement, within the ways of thinking. All these things can help cultivate this awareness to be our best selves. I love you so much and I am just beyond grateful for you and I am truly blissed out those feelings of just being high on life because this practice is just lighting me up. This inspired idea to do seven practices for a better you. Okay. So I've been writing a book and I want to share one of the self-care practices. I'm writing a book called Awaken You, How Waking Up Will Change Your Life. It's a dualistic meaning from how you wake up in the morning to awakening that part of you, that real part of you. Each chapter dives into different aspects of waking up to your life. And at the end of each chapter is a self-care practice with a breath work and a little journaling. And I would like to share that with you. Yo! Okay, here we go, friends. Here's your self-care practice. If you have a journal, pause this, my friend. Go grab a journal and a pen. And let's do this because writing is my jam. Okay, I'm really excited. You might think I'm a dork. I'm kind of dorky and weird. It's okay. I like it. Okay, self-care. Practice gratitude breath, which I'm needing some of that right now. Before you begin this practice, nestle into where you are. Feel body connected to surface, supporting you. Soften gaze or find a drishti, a still visual point. Or close your eyes. Imagine a color that makes you think and feel gratitude. There is no right or wrong color, and this could be several different colors or one single color. Inhale. Bringing the color inside, enveloping your heart space, wrapping around you like a warm, loving blanket. Pause a peaceful moment and flow with the exhale. Let the color fill up the space around you. Organically, bringing the color in with the inhale and repeat inside, whisper or speak out loud. I am grateful, I am grateful. I am grateful. Open up to the feelings of gratitude. On the exhale, repeat. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. It's kind of hard to do both at the same time. So if you're going to stay it inside, then you can exhale. I am grateful. I'm grateful. Grateful. Or you can just speak the affirmation. 
Repeat this gra grateful breath 10 times. This is setting the intention, setting the tone, creating space with gratitude. And now open up to the feelings of gratitude. You are free to journal what you are grateful for. Journal journey practice, communicating with gratitude. When you rise in the morning, keep a journal by your bed, or you can do it right now, and write 11 things, people, or experiences you are grateful for. I'm grateful for you. Keeping this journal by your bed, just as you tuck into the cozy blankets, write 11 things, people, or experiences you are grateful for. Example, I'm grateful for my bed. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful for my health. Expand in your own words. If you are a pre-planner like me and want to make this commitment, carve out time to label day one and label all the way through day 30 on each page. This is helpful for when we get off track, we can simply jump back in, make a commitment for the next month to journal what you are grateful for in the mornings and evenings. I am so grateful for you. Thank you for listening to my book. I'm so excited. I've been putting so much energy and love and so much growth into this book and I wanted to share a little piece of that with you. And comment, what do you want more on Yoga Bliss with Shelly? So I just love you and this has been an incredible journey and I am here to just continue to keep growing with you and deepening your practice and helping you learn different ways that you can care and love for yourself with yoga, which is super awesome. I love you friends and thumbs us up and subscribe and share with people that you love or people that you just feel could use this in their life. Thank you so much. Namaste.